What's up guys, Nick here with a brand new unboxing video. This time it's going to be a slightly older game that came out like, I think last year, and a game that just came out today. So we're going to do the game that recent has come out before the other, it's going to be the new one. So first one, Murdered Soul Suspect. A friend of mine who had the PS4 version played this, and I'm like, you know what? It was on sale. It, it's, it was originally like $40. Now it's down to $20 for new, so why not? So you have the dude on the front, and he's trying to investigate his own murder that's dead. Some kind of supernatural stuff. The hardest murder to solve is your own. Ronan O'Connor. Yeah, one of these related to. Uh, yeah. A detective with the Salem Police has his life brought to a brutal end by a masked killer. Yes, I'm holding my knife in my hand. Caught in a purgatorial world of dusk. He must combine his investigative, investigative skills with powerful supernatural abilities to uncover the shocking link between his own death and the ritualistic killer leaving a terrifying mark on the town of Salem. It is only one player, of course. Ready in for blood, intense violence, strong language, and use of alcohol. Check out the back. Nothing's, nothing too god-awful special. Alrighty. Got this at the wall, Mark. Sorry if you hear my phone. Texting people. I don't do that during unboxing videos because these are relatively short. So, um, they're short, but they take forever to upload. This Square Enix membership. A Square Enix? No way. It is. It's a Square game. I did not know that. All right. Oh. Here's the game itself. Just basically the dude's bullet holes in his back. And it's a digital uh, strategy map, which I'm not going to show on screen. Okay. That's Murder Soul Suspect. Add that to the couple of games that are in here. And then, for the premier game, a game um, I didn't know I was going to buy when I played the beta. I'm like, I don't know. Then I saw some cutscenes on uh, someone who was actually doing a walkthrough of it. And I'm like, alright, I'm sold. It is Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Now, most of my close friends know that I'm a big Gears of War fan. I have all four of the games. Um, I plan on getting the fourth one when it comes out. I got this one when it came out, so it's like, all right. You have the main squad on the front, Dom, Marcus, Cole, and Baird, which Bud and I have been calling the, uh, what is it? He'll comment below if he watches it. He'll know who I'm talking about, the Final Fantasy character, um, Sid. He's the Sid of this world because he's a mechanic, and he's blonde, and he has goggles. Cole, we always make fun of Cole. Alright. Experience one of gaming's most celebrated sagas. The shooter that defined the first generation of HD gaming is rebuilt for Xbox One and loaded with new content. Re-geared for a new generation. The first at its best, the landmark original, remastered in 1080p with five additional campaign chapters never released on consoles. Here's the thing. If the new acts, or the new act, which is basically what it is, because it's act and chapters, it's going to be a whole new act, obviously. I hope it's something good. Uh, genre defined multiplayer. Online's most visceral shooter returns at 60 frames per second with 19 maps and 6 game modes including Team Deathmatch, of course. Get set for Gears of War 4. Gears of War Ultimate Edition is your ticket to early beta access to the next Gears of War. So if you buy this game, you get, you get access to the beta for the next one, which is obviously multiplayer. Uh, great, one to two players on one console and two to eight on multi on online. Uh, blood, it rated in for blood, gore, blood and gore, intense violence and strong language. So if you play the original, you know you know what you're getting yourself into. 
I've beaten the original at least ten times. Which is not really saying much. Okay, I got it somewhere there. Which is not saying much because the game came out in like 2006. And this is 2005, so I've beaten it at least once a year. Just about. Oh, dude, you get the stickers. You got stickers for Gears of War 3, and I put it on uh, my old laptop. I might put it on this laptop. Who knows? My laptop that I rarely get on. Alright, let's see what's in here. You got the stickers. What is this? Oh, this is a. Uh, I can show you the front. Can't show you the back because it has all the codes on the back. You get the civilian on your skin, the animated emulsion weapon skin, and two days of two days of online. Psst. Hmm. I can show that because the codes are on the back. And here's the game itself. You have Don Marcus, Cole, and Baird on the front. I'm looking forward to this one because it looks like they've done a lot better now with that and the stickers. It's the same exact stickers, by the way, that they gave for three, pretty much. I think you got like one extra. But thank you all for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed Dusk. I'm pretty sure I'm uploading that one first. I'll catch you on the next unboxing video, which might be a while. So it'll be more than likely I'll see you in the next Let's Play.